Hey, happy Monday to you guys. We're back again. This is gonna be a little bit different. It's a little bit more off the cuff. Uh, although really most of my videos tend to be, I just go off of whatever's in my head, but I usually have like a subject matter that I wanna end up covering. Today it's, it's a taste test. Thankfully, uh, within this last week, I was able to figure out that the Japanese market I like to go to, Nakata Market of Japan here in Las Vegas, is still open. They're still open for business. Uh, they were relatively busy when I was there a couple of days ago. So I decided to spend some money with them and give them some business because I know with a lot of small businesses right now with what's going on in the world, it's gonna be a little hard for them to get by. So I picked up some goodies and stuff I wanted to try. And I'm gonna share a few of those things with you today. First thing I wanna show off today is something I'm glad I was able to find. And that is the Coca-Cola strawberry here. This was big during this past winter since winter in Japan is strawberry season. The last Coke I wanna say I tried out was probably the Coca-Cola apple. And I believe that was either late summer or around autumn. And generally we end up getting some of these drinks here. The markets here in Las Vegas will get them, but it takes usually a couple of months. I would say by the time it's starting to phase out in Japan, it's gonna be showing up here and in limited quantities. We ended up getting the Pepsi Japan Cola, the J Cola, you can call it either way, their pineapple flavor, which I found when I was there last August. We got those around, I'd say September or October. That one was really good. So I'm excited to try this one out. And I figure it's probably better to try this out before the, the next thing, just because yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll see how this goes. So let's open her up. Ooh, I love opening Japanese soda bottles because they're always well carbonated and they got that good sound. I don't know how to do it correctly, but it always just it always sounds so cool. Well, already it's it's an artificial smell, which is not surprising in the least bit. It it doesn't smell like. Super cloying, it's, it smells like cola, honestly, but just with like a fruity scent on top of it. All right, let's give it a shot, kanpai. Hmm, it's good. It's definitely artificial, that's not surprising at all. Yeah, the Coke flavor is prevalent, as it should be. If you're gonna have something that's gonna be a Coke or a Pepsi, it should taste like that soda, just with extra flavor added on top of it, and hopefully it mixes. I'm not entirely certain about this. I mean, I have a second bottle, so I'm gonna have to drink it anyways. I don't hate it at all, but... Hmm. It's got like a strawberry candy flavor to it, but I'm not entirely certain it really meshes well with the Coke. The Coke apple last year, I think was a better flavor because it kind of tasted like a caramel apple when you were drinking it. It was, it was quite nice. Those two flavors I think meshed up, even though the apple flavor wasn't like the really weird Jolly Rancher's sour green apple flavor. It was a little bit closer to like eating a real apple. That those two things just meshed well. This one, not not as much. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna BS you on that. This this is okay, and I will drink the other bottle I have. But you know, maybe 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 it'll grow on me as I finish off this one today, and when I come back to it in a few days for the second bottle I have. Because I mean, really, I don't need to be drinking this like tomorrow either. Ugh, 60 grams of sugar. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that up to the side and move to the next item. So our, our next thing, this is what I'm really excited. I'm only doing two items today. I, I bought a couple of things. Actually, you know what? I have a third item. When we finish this, we'll, we'll go to that as well. But this one is one of the other ones I really wanted to try when I saw it. So you might be familiar with the Koikea Potato Chips Strong brand. You probably maybe have only seen pictures of it, but if you go check out channels like uh, Critical Eats Japan, I'll link to them. They've tasted some of the other flavors. I don't know if they've done this particular one though, so maybe maybe we'll, we'll be doing it. No, what am I kidding? I can't kid myself. I'm not doing this first on anything. Everybody's done this stuff before. This one though, I was very curious about because I like ume. 
and that is potato chips strong. And the flavor is abare yaki ume. So abare can mean something like rampage or riotous or violent. I have a feeling with this, it's just denoting the strength of, of the chip. You've probably seen yaki quite a few times, you know, different foods like takoyaki and okonomiyaki. That usually means grilled or fried. And in this case, it's referring to how these guys are being cooked. It looks like they've just been grilled over maybe like charcoal or something like that. And ume, you probably know ume. If you don't know ume, umeboshi are pickled soured plums. They are salty and sweet and sour and savory. They're a little strong on their own. I have a feeling with what this is trying to tell us right now, they're probably gonna be really, really strong. I'm hoping so, because I like ume. Crack these guys open. All right. Well, it doesn't smell like much. <laughs> it just smells like chips, honestly. A decent sized one. Yeah, we can kind of see, like, you probably can't see on focus on there. It's, it's already focused, but maybe, maybe in my face. I'll have to get a photo of it later or something like that. There's little flecks of seasoning. Some of it also looks like potato skins, if I'd be honest. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of weirded out that there's no smell other than the potato chip, but let's get this side down on the tongue and try these guys out. Mmm. They're not as strong as I would have thought, but neither are the sour cream onion flavored uh, potato chips strong in this brand. Wow, that's good though. Now I like salt and vinegar chips, especially Lay's salt and vinegar chips are delicious. This kind of has that similar feel to it. The sourness is definitely a little, a little stronger and a different edge on it. And there's some sweetness to it. There's not a lot. The strong sour cream onion chips are sweeter, but you definitely get the salty. Oh, there's a lot of seasoning on this guy. Wow. Mm. Damn. These are delicious. Yeah, there's a lot more sourness to them because salt and vinegar chips over here tend to be more salty. There's there's the sourness of the vinegar that you would expect. They tend to be like, if you eat more than maybe like the, a potential serving, your lips start to like feel chapped and they don't feel really good. This though, there's not as much saltiness. The sourness is of it. I was really expecting them to be like super duper sour. They're not but they're, I think for some people, they might be a little bit too sour. I love that part about it. They're not as salty as American salt and vinegar chips. They, they kind of traded that off by taking the sour portion of it and kicking it over there. And the, the fried nature of the, the chip itself, I think is probably what's giving me the, you know, the yaki ume portion of that. Well, I gotta get another one of these. That's delicious. A little bit of sweet, definitely sour. Definitely some good savoriness out of that because potato chips are savory. Ume kind of has that. Certainly when you mix it with rice, I love putting something like a uh, red shiso furikake on my rice because it has that ume quality. Red shiso is usually used in the, the, the making of umeboshi to get that red, that deep red color because it's usually, usually like yellow or green when you start the whole process. By the time they're done, they're nice and soft and they've soaked in that color. That is, that is phenomenal. The, these, these are highly recommended. If you find these, if you like sour stuff, sour, salty things, this is right up your alley. This is delicious. All right, hold on. I got one more thing we can try out. All right, these I actually picked up just on a lark. These are, let me show that up there for you guys. These are called, I'm looking at the translation on the back. These are called, uh, baka uke, you can at least see that up on the top, baka uke. But these are uh, senbei kuri, uh, kuriyama hakata mentai. So these are uh, senbei rice crackers, but they are mentaiko flavored. So of course, I thought to myself, why not? I love mentaiko, so let's give these guys a shot. I'm kind of hoping they have the flavor down on these guys. Uh, how are we gonna open this? There you go. Yeah. Usually with these, they end up having these, sorry for the crinkling sound, they end up having 
like a tray in them. And then you can just, oh, there's two per package. Nice. They're kind of shaped like the uh, the egg sacs that you would get, since they just take the egg sac from like Pollock or Cod and then marinate them as far as I know. <laughs> they got little mascot characters on there. That's cute. I like that. Okay, let's give these guys a shot. Mmm, do a good smell. I think I mostly smelled plastic on that. Get in there. It does smell sufficiently fishy. Since Mentaiko, get a good look at that. Mentaiko, honestly, it's fishy without being like off-putting. I don't, it's hard to explain because when you, you eat it, you know exactly what you're eating, but at the same time, if it's nice and spicy, it's just, it's, uh, I don't, it's, it's hard to, I, I can't not, I can't explain it, obviously. I'm just <laughs> fumbling with my words there. But I love mentaiko. I love just the, the savoriness to it and having that seafood flavor. I love it in pasta sauce. You put that in like a cream sauce, man. Ooh. Put that on some pasta with some shaved nori. Yes, very good. All right, let's give this guy a shot. Everything about this is light. <laughs> That is a very light and airy senbei. I'm used to some of those being really, not like hard tack quality where you can barely bite into it and you might break your teeth, but they can be exceptionally crunchy. This is not the case. This is really, really light. Not spicy, unfortunately. That's one of the qualities about Mentaiko I like is how spicy it is. It's not like, you know, set your mouth on fire, but you know what you're eating. Well, there's a little bit of it. Like right in the back of the roof of my mouth, I can feel a little. Yeah, a little bit of spice there. That's not bad. I like how lightly crunchy those are. That's that's a really nice thing. I like senbei in general. <laughs> it's just the, the texture. The texture stays kind of the same whether or not it's lightly crispy like this or if it's gonna be like really super crunchy. I just, I like the texture of rice crackers. It, it just works out. Something about the mouthfeel with them is really nice. And I kind of wish this was a little bit stronger tasting, but I think this is something, it's not overly fishy. So you could probably give this to somebody and they could handle it. Certainly if they're, they don't really like uh, fishy things, this would be a good thing to, to have folks try out. All right, guys, let me take one more drink of my, my Coke strawberry and end it here. Hope you guys had fun with me checking out some of this stuff. Sorry if it's a little scattershot, but hey, what are you gonna do? I have a couple other items I, I know I can try out, but uh, maybe maybe I'll do a second video. It's probably not that interesting. These are the more interesting things, honestly. I got some coffee and I got uh, like a green tea ice cream monaca that like yeah, people have seen monaca before and coffee is not really not that super interesting because it's just it's black coffee it's good to go one of the other chips i got i think it's like a slightly sweeter chip but these are the these are the weirder things that we have today so we'll just man it here for now thanks for watching guys if you liked it give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it leave a comment down below does, does any of this stuff sound good to you would you like to try it out Hopefully you have a, either a market that's nearby that you can check out, a Japanese market, or you can order some of this stuff online, the number of services that you can get Japanese snacks from. But yeah, leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. So until next time, you guys stay safe, wash your hands, do all the, the stuff, stay inside, you know, be, be good, treat yourself good, and uh, hang in there as we're getting through all this stuff. But until we see each other again, take care and have a good one.